Welcome to Creativity, Innovation and Leadership. In this unit, we will be discussing protecting innovation. Specifically, we will be looking at why firms must decide whether and how to protect their technological innovation. We will look at how protecting innovation helps a firm retain control over it and appropriate the rents from it. Here the rents mean charges or the money they can earn from it. We will also be discussing why sometimes not protecting a technology is to the firm's advantage. It may encourage others to support the technology and increase its likelihood of becoming dominant. Appropriability of Innovation Appropriability is the degree to which a firm is able to capture the rents from its innovation. Appropriability is determined by how easily or quickly competitors can copy the innovation. Some innovations are inherently difficult to copy. For example, innovations that are built on tacit knowledge and socially complex knowledge. Tacit knowledge is a concept that we have studied earlier as well. Tacit knowledge is the knowledge that cannot be readily codified or transferred in written form. Socially complex knowledge arises through complex interactions between people, teams of uniquely talented research scientists. The sum of group effort is greater than individual contributions. Many innovations are relatively easy for competitors to imitate. First attempt to protect these innovations is through patents, trademarks, copyrights and trade secrets. Patents, trademarks and copyrights. Most sources attribute the origin of formalized protection of intellectual property to 15th century England where the monarchy granted certain privileges to manufacturers and traders as signified by letters patent which were marked by the king's great seal. The first known of these was granted by Henry VI to John of Utenham in 1449. This patent gave John a 20-year monopoly on the method of producing stainless glass that had not been previously known in England. Copyright protection arrived in 1710 when Parliament gave protection to books and other written works. Trademarks or marks of ownership can be traced back to 3500 BC, but trademark laws did not emerge until the 1700s. In 1791, Thomas Jefferson supported the request of sale cloth makers by recommending the establishment of trademark protection based on the Commerce Clause of the Constitution. The first international trademark agreement was reached in 1883 at the Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property. Patents, trademarks and copyrights each protect different things. Patents are rights granted by the government that excludes others from producing, using or selling an invention. The invention must be useful, novel and not be obvious. Utility patents protect new and useful processes, machines, manufactured items or combination of materials. A utility patent may be granted to an inventor who creates or discovers a new and useful process, machine, manufactured item or a combination of materials. A design patent may be granted to the inventor of an original and ornamental design for a manufactured item. A plant patent may be granted to an inventor who invents or discovers any distinct or new variety of plant. In 1998, many software algorithms became eligible for patent protection previously covered under copyright laws. It unleashed a flood of applications for software patents. To apply for a patent, the inventor must explain how to make use of the invention and make claims about what it does that makes it a new invention. In the US, the patent is reviewed by an examiner who may make modifications to the scope of the claims of the patent. The patent is then published and can be challenged by other inventors, for example, infringes on any existing patent. If the standards are met, then the patent is issued. Patents are usually issued for 20 years. Under the US patent law, an invention must pass three tests to be patentable. It must be useful, that is, it must produce a desirable result, solve a problem, improve on or propose a new use of an existing development or show potential for doing so. 
It must be novel, that is, it must not already be patented or described in public literature or be in public use for more than a year. It must not be obvious, that is, the person with experience or skill in the particular art of the patent would not be expected to achieve the same invention with a normal amount of effort. Apple won its big patent lawsuit against Samsung. They pulled together six patents the jury says Samsung violated. You can view some of these patents, design patents on your own. But interestingly, the design patent 305 says rounded square icons on interface. So you can see that even the icons on an iPhone were also de design patent by Apple. Patent laws around the world. Countries have their own laws regarding patent protection. Some treaties seek to harmonize these laws. Paris Convention for Protection of Industrial Property. Foreign nationals can apply for the same patent rights in each member country as that country's own citizens. It provides the right of priority. Once inventor has applied for protection in one member country, they can, within certain time period, apply for protection in others and be treated as if they had applied on the same date as first application. Patent Cooperation Treaty PCT. Inventors can apply for patent in a single PCT receiving office and reserve right to apply in more than 100 countries for up to two and a half years. It establishes date of application in all member countries simultaneously. Also, it makes results of patent process more uniform. Trademarks and service marks. A word, phrase, symbol, design or other indicator that is used to distinguish the sources of goods from one party to another. For example, Nike's swash or tick symbol. Rights to trademark are established in legitimate use of mark. Registration can also be used to establish international rights over trademark. A service mark distinguishes the provider of a service instead of a product. These marks do not expire as long as they are in use. Two treaties simplify registration of trademarks in multiple countries. The Madrid Agreement concerning the international registration of marks and the Madrid Protocol. Countries that adhere to either or both are in Madrid Union. They have 77 members. Copyright. Copyright is a form of protection granted to works of authorship. Copyright prohibits others from reproducing the work in copies, preparing derivative works based on the work, distributing copies or photocopies for sale, rental or release, performing the work publicly, displaying the work publicly. Copyright is established in first legitimate use. However, doctrine of fair use stipulates that others can typically use copyrighted material for purposes such as criticism, news reporting, teaching, research, etc. Copyright for works created after 1978 have protection of author's life plus 70 years. Copyright law varies from country to country. However, the Bernie Union for Protection of Literary and Artistic Property, the Bernie Convention, specifies a minimum level of protection for member countries. Bernie Convention also eliminates differential rights to citizens versus foreign nationals. Trade secrets. Trade secrets are information that belongs to a business that is generally unknown to others. Firms can protect proprietary product or process as trade secret without disclosing detailed information that would be required in patent. It enables broad class of assets and activities to be protectable. To qualify, information must not be generally known or ascertainable. Information must offer a distinctive advantage to the firm that is contingent upon its secrecy. Trade secret holders must exercise reasonable measures to protect its secrecy. The effectiveness and use of protection mechanism. In some industries, legal protection mechanisms are more effective than others. For example, in pharmaceutical, patents are powerful. In electronics, they might be easily invented around. It is notoriously difficult to protect manufacturing processes and techniques. In November 2002, PNG sued Potlatch Corporation for stealing trade secret methods for producing bounty and charming products by hiring two of PNG's paper manufacturing experts. It was settled out of court. 
In some situations, diffusing a technology may be more valuable than protecting it, for example, the rise of open source softwares. However, once control is relinquished, it is difficult to reclaim it. Fragmentation of the technology may result. The effectiveness and use of protection mechanisms. Wholly proprietary systems versus wholly open systems. Wholly proprietary systems are based on a company-owned technology protected by patents or some other means. The technology is generally not compatible with other manufacturers' products and the developers are usually able to protect rents from the technology. Customers may resist adopting these technologies because of their higher costs and lack of compatibility with other products. Wholly open systems may be freely accessed, augmented and distributed by anyone quickly commoditized and provide little appropriability of rents to the developers. Many technologies lie somewhere between these two extremes. The video game console producers, for example Xbox and PlayStation, use a wholly proprietary strategy for their consoles but a limited licensing strategy but a limited licensing policy for their games. This encourages developers to produce games for their systems while enabling the console producers to maintain a great deal of control over the games produced. Xbox game developers must first apply and must be accepted into one of the Xbox programs in order to receive development tools. The games are subject to a rigorous approval process. Microsoft Windows are protected by copyrights and only Microsoft can augment the software. It does allow access to portions of the source code to facilitate development of complementary goods, licenses the rights of such providers to produce complementary applications and licenses to distribute the software by bundling it with hardware. In 1995, Sun developed a software programming language called Java that enabled programs to be run on any operating system, for example Windows and Macintosh. This would lessen pressure for one operating system to be dominant. Sun's community source policy for Java moves a bit further in direction of wholly open. While Sun allows developers to augment the source code and does not collect a licensing fee, all charges to the code require approval by the Java community process managed by Sun. This allows Sun to disseminate the technology while maintaining control over the integrity of the core platform. Advantages of protection the advantages of protection include great rent appropriability, giving developers great incentives to invest in technology development, promotion and distribution. A sponsor of proprietary technology may offer the technology at an essentially competitive price, advertise aggressively or subsidize the production of complementary goods in order to promote the technology and secure its position as the single producer of the standard. Another advantage of protecting technology is to retain architectural control, that is, the ability to determine the structure and operations of technology and its compatibility with other goods and services. This is especially important feature of control when the manufacture and the sale of complementary technologies are a key part of the firm's strategy. Advantages of diffusion Diffusion encourages rapid adoption resulting in large installed base and a strong market for complementary goods. Open technologies may also benefit from additional development efforts of other parties without additional cost to the original developer. Production capabilities, marketing capabilities and capital. Factors influencing benefits of protection versus diffusion. Can firm produce the technology at sufficient volume or quality levels? When JVC was promoting VHS, they knew they were at a marketing and manufacturing disadvantage compared to Sony. They produced OEM, Original Equipment Manufacturing and Licensing Agreement with Hitachi, Mitsubishi and Sharp to boost the technology's production rate. Are complements important? Are they available in sufficient range and quality? Can the firm afford to develop and produce them itself? Is there industry opposition against sole source technology? Sony and Philips jointly created the original CD format and split the royalties. The other leading consumer electronic producers and record producers joined forces to develop the DVD technology. Can the firm improve the technology well enough and fast enough to compete with others? 
Netscape couldn't compete against Microsoft, so they gave access to their source code to the external development community and incorporated their improvements into their product. How important is it to prevent the technology from being altered in ways that fragment it as a standard? If a technology needs standards, then retaining some degree of control is critical. How valuable is architectural control to the firm? Does it have major stake in complements of the technology? The ability of a firm to determine the structure, operation, compatibility and development of a technology is even more important when the firm is significant producer of the complements. Intellectual Property Organization of Pakistan the IPO or the Intellectual Property Organization of Pakistan is responsible for patents, trademarks, copyrights and all other forms of intellectual property protection. Patentable Inventions in Pakistan In order to be patentable, an invention should have the following characteristics. The invention should be a process or product. The invention should be novel or new. It should involve an inventive step. And it should be capable of industrial application. Invention, whether product or process. Invention means any new and useful product or process in any field of technology and includes any new and useful improvements of either of them. A process means any art, process or method or manner of new manufacture of a product and a product means any substance, article, apparatus or machine. Novelty. An invention shall be considered to be novel or new if it does not form a part of the state of the art. The state of the art shall comprise everything disclosed to the public anywhere in the world by publication in tangible form or by oral disclosure, by use or in any other way prior to the filling or where appropriate the priority date of the application claiming the invention. Inventive step. An invention shall be considered as involving an inventive step if it has not been obvious to a person skilled in the art prior to the date of the application of the patent. In order to be patentable, the new subject must involve invention over what is old. A patent for new use of a known contrivance without any additional ingenuity is overcoming fresh difficulties is not an invention. If the new use involves no ingenuity but is in manner and purpose is analogous to the old use although not quite the same there is no invention. There should be a substantive change or improvement or addition in the prior art. Industrial application. An invention shall be considered to be capable of industrial application if it is capable of being manufactured or otherwise used industrially. Copyright. A legal instrument that provides the creator of a work of art or literature or a work that conveys information or ideas the right to control how the work is used. The intent of copyright is to advance the progress of knowledge by giving an author of a work an economic incentive to create new works. Copyrights include the following creative works. Library works, which includes books, magazine, journals, literatures, dramas, novels, computer programs, softwares, and compilation of data, etc. Artistic works like paintings, maps, photographs, drawings, charts, calligraphy, sculptures, architectural works, label designs, logos, monograms, and other works alike. Cinematographic works, which includes movies, audiovisuals works, documentaries, etc. And record works, which includes sounds recording, musical works, etc. Steps of registration of patents or copyrights in Pakistan. The first step is filling of application. The second step is examination. The third step is publication in newspaper, but this is only for artistic works. Then there is time given for any opposition. The final stage is issuance of certificate by the registrar. The application fee and form of patents are available on this web address, whereas the application fee and form of copyrights are available on this URL. I strongly recommend you to visit the website of IPO Pakistan. There is a lot of useful information there and it will help you protect your innovation. This marks the end of this chapter. Thank you.